Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is the Turtle Girl. Today I am super duper excited to bring you this video because we hit 5,000 subscribers on the channel and I am super excited. That is like super duper amazing and I just feel so blessed that this channel has been able to grow large enough to be able to reach that amount of people and help that amount of people with their turtles and turtle care and all that type of stuff. Thank you so much. It wouldn't be possible without you. And I just need to give a huge, huge shout out to my patrons over on Patreon right here. So I haven't really talked much about my Patreon page, but basically it's a place where these awesome people and we're also where you can go and support me if you enjoy my content and you like what I'm doing. And right now what that's doing is it enables me to have more flexibility to do things with the channel. But if you do like what I'm doing and if you want to support me, feel free to check out my Patreon. You can join our Turtle Tribe. We have an awesome community there. You can post pictures, do all sorts of awesome stuff, have access to me. And yeah, but anyways, let us get on with the Q&A because I know that's what you are here for. So let's get on to those questions. So I have all the questions here on this computer and I'm just going to be reading them. Um, there are a couple of like similar questions, so I'm kind of just lumping those together. And so question numero uno, number one, is how did I get into turtles and who inspired me, that type of thing. So how I got into turtles was basically I have always loved animals, okay, like ever since I was little, but... One day while I was searching the Craigslists, the classifieds, um, they're under the pet ads, I stumbled across an ad for mini musk turtles. Now before this I had never really been into turtles um, because I don't know, I just thought they were too much work when I did research into them and I don't know, they just didn't really strike a chord with me. But at this point I was maybe, I don't know, 11 years old or maybe 10 or 11 years old and I saw this ad for mini musk turtles and the picture of them was adorable because they were like so small and there's a picture of them on top of this little clementine orange for scale. And so from that point on I kind of just fell in love because I saw how cute they were. And then as I really did more research and actually dove into it, um, I got so much more of an appreciation for them. So that's kind of how I got into turtles. So the next question comes from Jules Yang. She asks, why did you start a YouTube account? So the reason I started the YouTube channel was because as I was doing my research into turtles, I found this forum, it's super awesome, it still has a lot of good information and a decent amount of active members, it's turtleforum.com. And so the forum was actually kind of like my first experience of social media because I never had Instagram and for YouTube I kind of just searched the creators I enjoyed watching and never really commented or anything. But while I was on this forum I realized that a lot of people were asking the same questions and this was after I had been into the hobby for maybe a year, a year and a half and I realized that on this forum a lot of people would ask the same questions over and over again and I'm like why am I replying to the same questions over and over again when I could just do one thing and have it done with. So my purpose for YouTube at first was to make a video so I could just link it to the person who was asking the question over on the forum. But then after I started actually using YouTube, I realized that there was a much bigger audience there that I could reach. And also that there was like very little turtle content out there, period, like regarding turtle care. There was like a couple channels here and there, but there wasn't much, especially compared to other pets like leopard geckos, bearded dragons, birds, small animals. And so I was like, why don't I fill that gap? And so that's why my channel really is a niche channel. Um, and so that's how I started the YouTube account. So the next question comes from Luis Alvarez. I apologize if you get your name wrong. I'm sorry, I'm just really bad with names. But he asks, do you research to get your knowledge of turtles or is it all from experience? So definitely at first, before I ever got my turtle, I literally did a year of research leading up to getting Nemo because I was the one who was paying for all his equipment. I was the one who was buying his tank, all that. And so I wanted to make sure that my money was being spent properly. So I did like a ton of research before I got my turtle and so that's where I got the main knowledge from in the beginning but after having kept them for now I think I've been keeping turtles for three and a half years I've been able to test that knowledge and make sure it's congruent with the experience I've had I know that I can be confident that they are for the most part matched especially because a lot of the information I got was from varying sources so I just kind of want to answer this question because I need to stress how important research is but also because you have to take everything with a grain of salt. Don't let my channel be your only source of information. You need to get other people's opinions and then test them yourself. And what works for me might not work for you and it might not work for other people. So you really just need to do your research and try it out with your own experiences. All right, so the next question comes from nerdy underscore aquatics over on Instagram. And they ask, what age did you start loving animals and what is your first pet? So basically, like I said before, I have loved animals my entire life, like literally. When I was younger, I would go around telling people I wanted to be an entomologist. And in case you didn't know what an entomologist is, 
Let six or seven year old me enlighten you. What do you want to be when you grow up? An entomologist. What is an entomologist? They study bugs. Do you like bugs? Yes. Yes. What are your favorite bugs? Butterflies and ladybugs, any kind of bug. So yeah, I've always loved animals. Um, I had a huge fascination with bugs and small critters. And then my first pet, like I think that was kind of like more of a family pet, but it was a goldfish, of course, but we had him in like, I think it was a 10 or 15 gallon tank, and the goldfish's name was Goldie, original, I know, but he was a comic goldfish, and poor thing, he was not only in a 10 gallon tank, but we did have a filter and all that stuff, so I guess it wasn't like terrible, but that fish was so resilient, like, literally, it lived for maybe five or six years, and so that was my first pet that was kind of a family. And then the first pet that was like my pet, so I did all the research for it, it belonged to me, was my hamster, her name was Ash, and she was a Russian dwarf hamster, but that was my first pet. The next question comes from Pop-Tart6073, and they ask, if you had only one thing to say to a new turtle owner, what would you say? Okay, so Pop-Tart, that is an amazing question. If I had to say one thing, and only one thing, to a new turtle owner, I would probably tell them, do your research and well, that's actually two. So I would say do your research, and then if I could say a second thing, I'd probably say don't always trust what the pet store employee tells you because they're not always that knowledgeable. So do your own research, cross-check information, and find a reliable source, and test it to your own experience. So that would be my one piece of advice to a new turtle owner. Violet.gypsy on Instagram asks, how many pets do you have? What is one animal you are afraid of, if any? And what would you say is your spirit animal? So how many pets do I have? Um, of course, I have the two turtles, Hoku and Nemo. Hoku is the Diamondback Terrapin. Nemo is the Eastern Painted Turtle. And then I have Rocky, the miniature schnauzer. He's my dog, or the family dog, I guess. And then we also have the axolotl Mochi. And that's like the like actual main animals. I'm not really going to count the fish or the snails because I don't name them. And because there's just quite a lot of them. But I think that would be, what did I say, five? Two turtles, a dog an axolotl. Actually only four. Only four pets. Um, what is one animal you are afraid of? Well, I wouldn't say there's any animals I'm afraid of. I just have some animals I respect and I prefer to kind of be like not up close to them. And there's pretty much only one and that would be spiders that are like daddy long legs or wolf spiders. But I'm not really afraid of tarantulas or jumping spiders. Just those ones with like those really long legs. I prefer not to be around. And then also I guess centipedes. Um, I don't know, they're just kind of creepy crawly and I've had some a couple bad experiences, um, but really I'm not really afraid of them, I just prefer not to be around them, but I can respect them as a creature and I, I, I just love all animals. And then the last thing was, what would you say is your spirit animal? And I would have to say turtle because I really just relate to kind of how they act. I mean, I consider myself an introvert, it might seem crazy, you might not believe that, but when you consider that I'm a girl who just sits in front of a camera and talks to it, you know? But once you get to know me, I guess, I kind of come out of my shell, that type of thing. So I would say, have to say turtle. Ryo Watanabe Tanks asks, what is the best beginner turtle that doesn't grow too big? So if I were to give you one suggestion, I would say a musk turtle, a common musk turtle, because usually they stay under 5 inches, and they're usually pretty hardy and easy to take care of. So little Lottie 24 on Instagram, also known as Lori's Heartland here on YouTube, by the way, I love her channel, she asks, what is your dream pet species? There were a couple other people who asked this as well. Um, and this is a really hard one for me, there's quite a few animals that I want, so I will give you my top three. So first of all, a pet that I've always thought would be super amazing to have is a panther chameleon. Panther chameleons I think are just super beautiful and they're just amazing creatures and I'd love to have one to be able to watch in my own home because they're just so fascinating and chameleons in general are fascinating. So panther chameleon. Second, ever since I've gotten to turtles I've wanted this pet and that would be a mini musk turtle. So not just any musk turtle, but a mini musk turtle. So this is a special line bred strain, I guess you could call it, of musk turtle that was bred to stay small. So usually this turtle stays under four inches. And so this is the same turtle that I saw in that Craigslist ad that I fell in love with. But unfortunately, the business that was 
producing these turtles, Pacific Northwest Turtle Works went out of business, and so there's like only a couple places where you can get this turtle, um, but I don't know of any sources that actually sell them at the moment, but I'm just like waiting to get my hands on a Minnie Musk turtle because they're just so small and so amazing and I really, really want one. So that is my second dream pet, and the last one of the top three, it's kind of a tie between two, so I'm sorry, this is like a bunch of different animals, but I'd have to say it's a tie between a ball python, which probably won't happen for a while because my parents don't like the idea of a snake in the house, or a leopard gecko, so as some of you might know, I've wanted a leopard gecko forever, but I also really want a ball python, so I don't know, those would be my top four dream pets. So the next question, quite a few people asked this, was do you see yourself getting any more animals in the future or do you, what pet are you going to get next, what turtle are you going to get next? And so my answer to this is next pet that is probably upcoming. Okay, so there's probably going to end up being a leopard gecko if I'm being completely honest um, because I already have permission to get that, but a chameleon is also on the board. So I'm not quite sure, I'm pretty sure it'll end up being Leopard Gecko, but that's what I'm planning to get in the future, but it might not be, not even till next year. I try to limit myself to maybe one or two pets a year so that I'm not, like, um, overwhelming myself with the amount of animals I have to, to make sure I can be able to care for them all. So, probably Leopard Gecko. Also, there are a couple of empty fish tanks I have, so I might be getting some fish, such as a pea puffer, but you'll have to stay tuned to the channel see what happens there. So make sure you ring that notification bell, now would be a good time to do so. Okay, so we're coming up on the end here, we have a couple more questions left, um, and this one comes from Shelled Reptiles, and they ask, do you ever want to start a turtle sanctuary, or are you more interested in being a keeper? So great question. So I would love to have like a huge backyard with a bunch of ponds out there, and be able to rescue turtles, I think that would be amazing. But at the moment, my situation doesn't really allow for it because I still have my parents, I'm going to school, all that stuff. But I would love to be able to do that in the future, have a turtle sanctuary and rescue, and be a keeper as well. But my biggest thing is I don't want to overwhelm myself. I don't want to take on more than I can handle. So I really have to consider that, but I would love to be able to do that in the future. Okay, so last two questions here. The first one is from a.birds.tail. By the way, Bella, you're amazing, and she's super sweet. She has an amazing Instagram account. But anyways, um, she asks, what is your favorite movie? Movie. What is your favorite movie at the moment? On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like turtles? And what makes you smile the most? So thank you so much for the sweet question. Um, favorite movie, a lot of you know, I love Marvel. Marvel is amazing. Um, at the moment, it would probably have to be a tie between Avengers Infinity War, because my heart. Um, Black Panther was also really good. And then Incredibles 2, because Incredibles 2 is my childhood. And yeah, so at the moment, it's a three-way tie between those movies. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like turtles? Personally, I love turtles a 9. Now I say a 9 and not a 10 because they do take a lot of work, a lot of maintenance, and you can't really hold them or touch them. But other than that, I love them to death. So 9 out of 10 for turtles. And what makes me smile the most? I think what makes me smile the most is helping people and knowing that the things I'm doing are helping people. So that's what makes me happy. That's why I do this YouTube channel. And for the last question comes from Wildlife Repair Shop. And they ask, what do you want to do when you grow up? I feel like this is a question that I probably should have an answer to, but I don't. Um, I think realistically, I'd love to have a job where I can work at home and be able to care for my animals that way and just have a job that I work from online. But my dream job would probably be working in like a national park as a park ranger or doing some sort of wildlife rehabilitation and working with animals because that's amazing but we'll see where the path goes where this youtube channel leads me i'm not sure what's gonna happen so i don't know just taking it day by day and trying to teach you guys about turtles so thank you again for 5,000 subscribers for constantly supporting the channel i appreciate you so much and thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it feel free to hit that thumbs up Please don't forget to check out my Patreon page and huge shout out again to all my Patreons. And I will see you guys next Friday. Have a turtly awesome day. Bye!